Hey guys, welcome to my channel and in this video we are going to talk about AWS CloudFront. Amazon CloudFront is a content delivery network CDN service that helps you distribute your application content at higher speed by placing it in the edge location and bringing the content closer to the end user. The rule here is to keep the data in proximity to the user which reduces the latency to fetch it thereby improving the performance. Let's see this practically. I'm going to use Amazon S3 bucket to keep my contents in, but mind it that your content could be anywhere. It can be on a machine in your own data center or it could be in an EC2 instance as well. For this demo, I'm going to use this bucket, CloudFront demo. And as you can see, I have all the contents filled in already. You can simply click on upload and upload the content that you may want to use for CDN purposes. I do have a file cdn.jpg that was uploaded. So here you can see it is 3.8 MB. And now what I want to do is I want to show you since my bucket happens to be in a region. Let me show you the region as well. As you can see, my S3 bucket happens to be in North Virginia region. So if I'm trying to access the content cdn.jpg, it is being served from North Virginia. As of this recording, I'm in Mumbai. I'm going to use curl command to access the content from my bucket that is CloudFront Demo Mahendra. And I want to access cdn.jpg. Let's do this and have a look at the time that it shows. It took 2.5 seconds to be able to access the content. Mind it, as I said, I'm accessing this content as of this recording from Mumbai and the bucket happens to be in North Virginia. Let's see if we can practically reduce the amount of time it takes for my application to be able to access the content cdn.jpg. To do this, I'm going to open up the CloudFront dashboard and from this dashboard, we are going to click on create a CloudFront distribution. On create distribution page, the very first thing that it is asking you for is the origin domain. The origin domain is the IP address or your domain name from where you can access the content as of now. So if you see this, my content right now is in this particular bucket. If I click on this by default, it shows you all the bucket names so you can use one. So that's the domain where I have the file or all the contents that I may want to use cdn.jpg. As I said, it's not necessary that your content is always in S3 bucket. If your content happens to be on a server, you can also specify maybe my content is in a server on this particular server. So you can specify any other domain name or IP address in that case where you have your content for this demo, I'm going to use the S3 bucket. So I'm going to specify that domain name. There are other settings that you can explore, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply go ahead and click on create distribution. Status says deploying. So we will have to wait for time being. I'm going to pause the video and return back when this completes. You can see here the deployment has completed and now for the origin where the actual content is as of now. It has also given us a domain name through which we are going to access the content. So we are not going to send a request to the origin, but rather our request is going to go to this particular address provided by CloudFront. To understand how this is going to work, before I can go ahead and make a request, let me show you that when I do name resolution for this particular address, it shows me these are the IP addresses and these IP addresses, they belong to a specific edge location. So when I'm making a request from Mumbai, it's defining that these are the IP addresses of the edge location or locations from where I will be able to access the content from. Now, if I try to make the same request from some other location, as you can see, I've opened up the utility ping.eu. This works from Europe. If you try to do DNS lookup, it's not the same address that it is providing me now. Since the request came from Europe, you can see the IP addresses that it serves are different. These are probably the IP addresses of edge location, which are closer from where this server is making a request. So this is how CloudFront redirects all the requests to the nearest edge location. As I said, let's try to check it out practically. And now I'm going to replace Instead of making a request to the origin, I'm going to make a request to CloudFront. An important point to note is when CloudFront is doing it for the first time, the edge location does not have the cached content. When this happens, 
the edge location itself is going to make a request to the origin which is going to take longer for the first time here it is and eventually now if i am going to make a request you can see the timing is going to be far less than what we checked when we made a request from mumbai all the way to north virginia this proves that cdn improves the performance by reducing the latency keeping the content closer to the consumer will reduce the latency and always improve the performance thank you so much for watching please do like subscribe and share the video if you want to learn about a specific topic please mention in the comment box